Hello, Melodian players of the internet, um, and welcome to this play along practice session for DG Melodian or Diatonic Button Accordion. Um, I'm just going to be playing through some tunes for you to have a go at playing along with. Uh, they're all tunes that I would typically teach uh, to a beginner fairly early on in their progress uh, learning English music on this instrument. Um, so yeah, grab your uh, DG box and uh, let's have a go. The first tune I'm going to be doing is Shepherd's Hay. Um, which is often the first uh, tune that I teach to new beginners. Um, at time of recording, at least, it is possible for you to change the speed on uh, YouTube videos. So I'm just going to play everything at a fairly moderate, medium tempo. Um, but if you'd like to practice along with it uh, more slowly, then if you go into the settings on the video, you can set it to play at um, half or three quarter speed or whatever you like and it'll stay in the right pitch, um, so you can still play along. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then you can work your way up to uh, to playing it um, at full speed, or even faster, I think you can, you know, set the uh, videos to run double speed or whatever you like. Um, okay, so here's Shepherd's Hay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Shepard's Hay. Uh, so um, I maybe should have mentioned at the beginning, um, I'm going to be, uh, you know, just playing things as I normally would with uh, various variations and, um, you know, just differences thrown in uh, to amuse myself. Um, but uh, everything I play will fit with uh, just the basic version of uh, the tune that you might have learned. Uh, so don't worry if I suddenly, you know, go in the high octave or um, put in some different chords or whatever, it'll all uh, fit if you're just, um, you know, playing along the basic version. But also, you know, you can try and um, copy any of the, the ornaments and things and throwing in. Um, because, yeah, when you, you know, th this is what you're practicing for if you're uh, going to be playing along uh, with other people. A uh, big part of that is listening, uh, as well as just um, being able to carry on playing the tune yourself. So, uh, yeah, do have a listen and uh, see what you can uh, incorporate. Um, so uh, I'll do Bear Dance now, which is another good um, good tune to, uh, to learn early on. It's uh, easy on the D-Row, it's just uh, only needs three buttons. Um, and it's a good first minor tune to learn, it's an E minor. Um, so, bad ants. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
so better dance. Um, okay, so uh, I'll do you a jig next. Um, so balance the straw. Uh, it's another Morris dance tune. Um, so yeah, good one to learn for your first uh, jig um, because it's um, uh, yeah, it's quite slow for the dance. Um, you know, compared to uh, yeah other jigs that you might do faster later on. Um, Okay, so uh, So let's balance the straw. Um, so uh, next we'll do um, Old Tom of Oxford. Um, this is a uh, it's a good first tune to do um, to do any moving around uh, on the right hand because uh, yeah you can't play it all in one position. It's got some higher notes, uh, so you have to move it up and down a bit. Um, uh, I'm going to play it in um, in two different keys because it's um, yeah I think it is. Um, Probably most widely played in G, um, but I've always played it in D. I think I um, it's one of the first tunes I learned, and I learned it from uh, the Spies and Bowden album Bellow, um, which uh, I'd highly recommend. Yeah, I think they did it with Bellowhead as well. Um, so um, yeah, I think a lot of people know this tune in D just through it being popularized by Spies and Bowden, but. Um, but yeah, I've, I've seen it out there a lot in G as well, so I'll do it in both. Um, it's an easy tune to move from one row to the other because it, uh, again, it can be played just all on one row for the basic version. Um, so you only need to move your hand across. Um, so yeah, I'll do it in uh, a few times in D and then a few times in G. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Thank you. 
So Alton of Oxford, um, we'll do uh, another jig now. Um, we'll do Plain Tree. Um, this is a uh, it's a good one to learn early on because it's um, it's a tune that definitely requires you to use both rows. <coughs> the um, the beginning uh, definitely has to be on the D row to get the E minor chord, but then uh, most of the rest of it sits better on the G row. So. Uh, uh, yeah, plain tree, let's have a go. One, two, three, Thank you. 
okay, so I'm just going to do one more tune. Um, and uh, yeah, this one had to be in here really. It's uh, Speed the Plow. Uh, love it or hate it, it's, uh, it's a fairly essential piece of uh, DG Melodian repertoire, I think. Um, so, um, yeah, thanks very much for, um, for playing along, if you have been. I um, hope, hope this has been uh, useful to some of you. And, um, uh, yeah, if it has and you'd like me to do uh, more things like this, then um, feel free to let me know if there's any particular tunes you'd like me to do. Or, um, or yeah, if you want me to do it on a different kind of instrument or um you know gc or uh, all irish tunes or whatever you know just uh, let me know what you'd like um okay so uh here we go speed the plow one two three four 